farmer's market has the widest range of fruits and vegetables, including all these lovely pumpkin and squash, and I'm gonna tell you about them today. Okay, this is the Hubbard squash. It's the first squash that we're showing you today. So just have a look at this mottled skin that it's got, so very distinctive. This guy and this guy, they're the same, just different varieties of it. It is high in fiber, high in vitamin C, and high in vitamin A. With almost zero fat, it's got a 6.9 net carb, so it's great in a banting lifestyle. Okay, so this is the muscat. It's one of the bigger varieties. Look at this vibrant orange color. Just imagine this in a roasted soup on your plate. It's gonna look stunning. Seeds not to be wasted. The seeds you can roast as well for a snack. So really good all round meal. This is the crown pumpkin, another big boy. Uh, you'll recognize it by its blue and gray hue on the skin. Inside, it's got a vibrant orange color flesh and it's really good for a yellow Thai curry or a pumpkin pie. This is also quite a soft flesh. So again, it's gonna be great for that cinnamony, sweet, soft pumpkin pie. So this brings us to the butternut squash, firm favorite in all South African households. And one of the reasons that is, is because it grows in different parts of the country in different climates at different times. So you can always find it at your food lovers market. Because it's so versatile, just head over to our website and there are so, so, so many recipes that you can find. You can roast it, you can boil it, you can mash it, you can throw it on the braai, really easy. Don't forget about those seeds. They are great in the oven with a pinch of salt. Okay, so that brings us to the gem squash. Uh, we probably know it as the squashy or a scorsi, something that we definitely grew up with. You probably had it at your grandparents' house when they would chuck the tin sweet corn in and the cheese, delicious, perfect, nothing wrong. Don't mess with that recipe. Uh, you get the little ones that you can kind of chuck into your koiki or into your stew just like that, or the bigger ones you tend to eat with a spoon. If you're looking for a bit of a healthier option, I enjoy boiling some quinoa with a little bit of turmeric and spices and popping that in and then putting it into the oven. And I didn't tell you that it's really low in cholesterol. These are some of the rarer varieties. Uh, you're not going to find them at every food lovers market store, but if there's a chance that you are, it's going to be now because it's pumpkin season. So head on over. What we're looking at here is a acorn winter squash. And this one over here is known as a red curry squash. Curry is actually Japanese for chestnut. So if you have a look, this one has the shape of a little chestnut. And then this one has the shape of an acorn. Don't be afraid to try it, just grab it, put it in your trolley. Most simply, you could just cut it up into wedges and pop it into the air fryer. So if you just cut that into little slices, you'll see that it's got a thin rind, it's gonna be easy. Or cut it like you would a melon. And on melons, one fun fact I'm gonna leave you with today, these guys, watermelons, and these guys, the cucumbers, and all of these squash and pumpkin I told you about, including zucchini and all of the melons, are actually all part of the gourd family. So don't overlook pumpkins and squash the next time you head to Food Lovers Market. They really are an all-rounder. You've got nutrition, you've got great flavor, they store really well, they don't have to be refrigerated and they freeze really well so you can prep them freeze them sweet savory um, and they're affordable so it really is a great option for you to do your